Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is part 5, and we're in the middle of the... thing. The cathedral, whatever. And we're gonna get into a battle. What a way to start a video, huh? It's like, gee, who knew that we were about to get into a battle? I mean, there were monsters over there, but that doesn't mean that it's safe to assume we were going to battle them. I mean, we could have just gone up and shook their hands or something. Anyway, whatever. The humor is just not working for me this morning. See, last night I had this dream, and it was kind of a... It was almost like a Mother 3 dream, actually, but I don't know. Intruders! <laughs> I don't know what it had to do with Mother 3, but it made me think of it. Like, when I woke up, I was thinking about it again. Um, basically, in the dream, I was walking across one of the bridges in my hometown. But, um... Uh, we're okay. Barely. And anyway... Normally, this bridge goes over a railroad, right? But, uh, but in the dream, there was like a river under it, so. And I remember as I was walking over the bridge, I was looking over the edge and thinking about jumping. And I'm not suicidal in real life, as far as I know. I don't, I don't think I am. But in that dream, God, I just really wanted to jump. And then, like, a few seconds later, it's like I thought someone was following me. And it's like they were about to push me over the edge themselves. And just when, when that happened, then it was like I didn't want to get thrown over anymore. So it's almost like I wanted to die, but I didn't want it to be someone else who did it. Okay, we just learned Exa Strike there. That's Chrono and Frogs. Um, dual technique, if you go in and see. He combines a Slurp Cut with, I guess, Cyclone or something. But it ends up being Exa Strike. Which is one of the coolest dual techs in the game. Oh, wow. Dost I see an opportunity for a fire whirl? I do believe so. We're getting really low on HP, though, so we're gonna have to be careful. This should hit all four of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, man! Me and Luca together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. Me being Chrono. So we're probably going to need to heal up here. So what you can do, Frog has a healing technique called Slurp, you might have noticed. So you can just go over here, use it. Anytime one appears in yellow, that means you can use it between battles, because it's like a healing, so... And it's only one MP, so it's pretty good. Gets you back up to full health again. It's really hard to die in this game, you know? Especially early on. I mean, I t I mean I've been about as careless as a person could possibly be, and yet I'm still making it. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that dream, though. It's like in the dream, once I realized I didn't want to die, or at least that I didn't want to die by someone else's hand. Oh my god, the staircase went out from under us. It was then that I realized I wanted to get over to land and look at the river from the land. But this all had something to do... <laughs> the thing is, I read some fanfic yesterday that was, like, about Klaus and Lucas after... You know, after you know what, but... Yeah, that's what Luca does when she can't shoot. She actually uses a hammer. But, but in this fanfic, it had said something like they didn't—they had to choose at a point between jumping in the river or getting killed by the Drago. And it insinuated that getting killed by the Drago would be slow and painful. And it's like, damn it, don't say that. Don't say it's slow and painful because then I'm thinking that, you know what? You gotta switch over here. That it releases spikes in the next room. You can actually dodge these guys. <laughs> Got a heal, got a tonic, and we got a bat. Well, this looks like another opportunity for the fire whirl. Oops. Oh, man, he's draining Luca there. Okay. I never did increase that battle speed. Wait a minute. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Get over here and attack the bat. That thing's only got 18 HP. Good lord. Well, that pretty much kills all my MP right there, so... I'd have to do something about that. <laughs> well, you know, I think that's why they invented shelters and save points, though, isn't it? There's not a whole lot in here. We'll fight these guys off. Okay, apparently we have another switch on a wall over here. Oh, oh that's nice. Okay, that wasn't so bad. If I'm not mistaken, one of those opens a... Oh, wait, I know what... Never mind. <laughs> Jeez. I almost forgot how this works. You get to come over here, past that sleeping guard there. We're going to come down here, actually, and use a shelter while we can. Thank goodness we have one. I could have picked one up in the forest there, but I wasn't paying attention. 
So we come on in here, the spikes are gone, but now we got a whole crap load of monsters. Okay, I guess we gained a couple more levels there, that's good. Iron Sword. I would guess that that's for Frog. One nice thing that I keep forgetting is that you don't have to go into the individual player's inventory to make sure that they're the ones carrying the weapon so that they could equip it. Your inventory is all the same. So play this organ over here. I'm not sure where we learned to play like that, but okay. I don't guess it sounds that great, but huh, it sounds cool enough. So now that should open a door back here. Hopefully the organ plane didn't wake that guy up. Doesn't look like it did. Oh, can we finish this today? I tell ya. Uh oh. Let's wait till they turn around. Make a, make a run for it. Oh no! Oh my god! We're going crazy. Oh jeez. I thought we had it for a second there. Okay, we got a few more tech points and another save point if we need it, which we don't really need it. Prepare yourself, Queen Lean. Prepare for what? Oh no! You! How did you get in here? Frog! Majesty, stand back and allow us the honor. Be careful. Wait, so you don't seem so surprised that he's actually the monster, huh? Did you already know? It's useless to fight. No one will leave here alive. Stupid frog, it's time you jumped off this mortal coil. True form change. More like presto changeo. Notice Luca and Frog go over to the parts with carpet. I guess they want to be comfortable during this battle. I can't say I blame him. Reverts to Yakura. And here's our first really big boss battle of the game, so... The best bet is to have Chrono and Frog use X-Strike and let Luca take care of healing as needed. Otherwise, she can also do the fire. Drew. What, like Drew Barrymore? Is that what he's trying to say? Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do that. Because we're fine. Just keep spamming the X-Strike is pretty much your best bet here as soon as we get our turn. Alright. That is so cool looking, I love that. The thing is, when I saw the pictures in the magazines, I always thought... For some reason, I always thought that the lines, like, moved around or something, like, rotated. Because I was still all up in arms about the whole rotation scaling thing, even four years after the system came out, I guess. But I like it better the way they actually did it, so... That's good. Yakura's needle attack. Ew. Oh man, that's not good. So let's do that X strike again, and we'll have Luca use a tonic. Take care of Frog over there. Oh yeah. Chrono and Frog, the badass duo there. Taking care of business. Alright. So we should be good for two or three more hits. Maybe we can. Ooh. I think I'll have her use another tonic on her. Well, no, I guess we don't need to, because we finished him off. It's one of the more lovely things about this game, is you don't have to grind at all, because it's just, it's really easy. For the most part, your experience is very well handled as far as what you gain. Alright, we did it! You came to rescue me! Thank you, frog! King awaits. Let us return to the castle. I thank the Chrono and Luca. Yes, thank you so much. Please join us. Yeah, I believe we will. So we go open the treasure here, and guess what? It's the real Chancellor! Oh my goodness. Thank you. That monster stuffed me in there. Oh, your highness. As you can see, I am undamaged. Got one mid-ether. Mid-ether. Let's return to the castle. Sounds good to me. Thank goodness it takes us back here. You had me worried, Lean. That no good Yakra impersonating me and kidnapping the Queen, we must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away with such fiends. Criminal justice system, which we must not have had before. That's why they're pointing it out here. Uh, to be continued, I'm out of time. Bye.